Hey guys, it's Tom, and um, I got some video on the Mustang from when I painted it. I thought I would show you guys, and um, I had a little trouble with the clear. Um, I use a two, uh, I use the two to one clear, the high solids clear. It's what I like to use. I don't like the four to one stuff anymore. Um, two to one flows so much better, but um, and most of the time when I use clears. I, I use a cheaper clear. Um, I used to use the American clear, which is a two to one. Um, and then uh, I since uh, switched over to uh, Omni uh, MC161. And uh, I like that stuff as well. Um, but uh, those both those clears need uh, accelerator in them. Um, at least that's been my experience. Um, I said uh, in the video, I just wanted to kind of clarify, I said in the video that um, perhaps all 2 to 1 high solid clears uh, would need accelerator and that's probably not right. Um, I was talking to Darren the other day because I ordered some AG40 which is Matrix um, best stuff uh, and um, they, uh, he told me not to use accelerator in it. Uh, he said it, it, it's not good, don't use it so we won't use it. But um, for some of your other clears, and it's probably a trial and error thing, it's something you'll have to experience, but pretty, all two to one so, uh, high solid clears that I've dealt with, I've had to put accelerator in, no matter what the temperature. So <clears throat> they do flow a little better and maybe um, even sort of kick a little slower than four to one. But anyway, we'll put the video on check it out uh you know the car came out good but uh oh and we did uh i did hit the uh spots that i was referring to with a little sandpaper and give them a little hand buff job real quick uh, i didn't get the buffer out just uh just did it by hand so check it out it came out pretty good it was starting to rain when we got the final look so just basically got a real quick look at it after it was done but uh check it out and um Take it easy, guys. Thanks. <clears throat> all right, guys. I got her all taped up. She's wiped down. And she's ready to shoot. So, I'm going to give you a look at my tape job. It probably sucks compared to professionals, but uh, it's kind of a big tape job. I've got my stripes taped off here for the collar only. And then, as soon as I put the collar on, right before I or right before I put the clear on, I'll pull the masking off and we'll clear that stripe. But, uh, you see we're all taped up. I gotta do a little work here and uh, push this down. I'll use a quarter or something on it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Same thing on this side. We'll pull the masking off the stripe and uh, it's masked off underneath. You can see there we got it masked off on the bottom um, and then when we pull this paper we'll clear all the way down to the uh, rocker panel cover <clears throat> and there we have it I'll turn it back on I'll turn it on and give you a look at it before I clear it and uh, we'll go from there Alrighty then, we got our paint on. And it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looks like we got a few bugs trying to land in it. So now we'll take our masking off. Hopefully we didn't have any leakers.
<clears throat> well, I'm going to have to get busy and pull all this tape off, but you get the idea. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be in good shape here. So I'll get that pulled off and uh, get it all tacked off and we'll clear it and have another look at it. Alright, I got one coat of clear on it. It looks pretty darn good actually with just one coat on it. In fact, you know, I mean it looks pretty good. Now here's the thing. First of all, let's take a look at the humidity. Look at that. So, I don't know how much that has to do with it, but I like to use a high solids clear, which is a two to one. Um, I use the fast hardener. Um, you know, it's hot and humid, and I'm thinking it's gonna kick pretty fast. Um, now, in my opinion, my experience, and I'm not a professional, but the two to one high solids, <clears throat> it just it just doesn't kick like four to one does. Okay? It kicks slower. So uh, normally I put accelerator in it. And uh, you know, anybody who watches my videos would know uh back when we painted the uh Chevy Aveo a um, year or so ago um, I had forgot to put the uh, the uh, accelerator in it and uh, we had runs everywhere well this is just one coat guys and we were I was getting runs um, now I'll show you I use the old VW Darren trick and that's who I learned it from anyway, how's that? I don't know if you can see that or not, but I have stuck my finger in that run. See it right there. And there was a whole bunch right here that we got. <clears throat> and the worst spot was over here. And we're going to be okay, I think, with this. I've done this lots of times. You know, I get a run here and there, stick my finger in it. Now, this is kind of extreme right here, you know. So, but you can see those. And there's a couple right there. Oops. See, just keeps on running, guys. I should have put accelerator in it. But it was so, it's so hot, I really didn't think I'd need it. There we go. Stab your finger in it. We might get lucky and get away with this. We're going to put another coat on it, so. But it's not, it's not setting up. And I'm watching for more runs here. I'm showing you guys this real, real time here, real life. Sometimes this is what happens. And uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any. There's some right there. The 
just won't kick. It's been on for, let's see, I was thinking uh, at the top of the hour I'd be putting my second coat on. Uh-huh, oh yeah. Big thanks to Milo's Garage, great channel guys, check it out. That's my flash clock, uh, that is my clock, I don't need numbers. So, I think we got all the runs. I think I had a couple right here, which I got. See them or not? Now hopefully, we'll get lucky, and we won't have to, uh, to do anything, because I can tell you one thing right now, I'm going to load the second coat up with some accelerator, something fierce. I want this stuff to kick immediately, as fast as possible. But I tell you, the car looks really, really good with just one coat on it. So, <clears throat> we got a light spot right here. Let's see if you can see that right there. We got a little bit of a light. I didn't get that very good. These scoops make me nervous when I'm shooting because I'm trying to change the angle of my gun just a little bit and uh, get a little clear to blow back in there and uh, it's causing me to deviate from my normal there you go you can see that right there see the lights and you can see that right there so i stopped too short on that pass but i'm thinking i got all the runs taken care of and uh, yeah, it's looking good though, guys. It's looking really good. Just with one coat on it. And uh, if I'd known it was gonna look this good, I would have made, uh, I would have left that light spot over there, I guarantee you. But the longer it sits here, the better it's laying. Of course, that's because probably it's not drying you know we, we've had this on now this clear has been on for a half an hour and I cannot let's see if we can get the flashlight on there look at that we still got silk can you see the silk oh yeah I don't know if you see that or not. We're gonna have to wait another 10 minutes probably. And uh, so, I'm just gonna keep waiting here and keep watching because it's starting to get better now. So uh, I don't think we're gonna gain any more new runs. And uh, you know, Most of them, or at least the worst of them, were on the uh, stripe, which is probably going to be a bit, uh, you know, harder to hold. It's probably harder to hold that clear on the stripe than it is the paint. You know, it's a, it's well scuffed and all, but you know, it's just like when you <coughs> clear over scuffed clear, it just doesn't adhere as well, or uh, it doesn't. Uh, uh, I don't want to say it just doesn't stick on there like like it does when you put it over fresh paint um, you know you have a better chance of running it um, on the on the scuffed surface than you do the fresh paint if that makes any sense I don't know at least that's my experience you know I think we'll run it first on the stripe then we more than we would on the paint but I could be wrong I don't know. So we did have some runs down here in the paint, but most of them are where the clear would build along the edges, you know, a sharp edge there. But it's just not setting up. You know, that's not to say we wouldn't have had any runs. Normally I put it on pretty heavy. I'm usually not too scared of runs, 
but I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we just have lots of silk yet right there. Get up here where you guys can see that. Silk maybe. It's too wet to put to start another coat, so we're just gonna have to stay here for a while and let it kick. And I will uh, definitely load up uh, on the accelerator on the on the second coat, and uh, hopefully that will uh, that will help everything. But we got to get through this first. We got some tape rolling up right here. I almost put accelerator in it, but it's so hot. I thought, well, if I'm using a fast hardener, you know, normally like on a four to one, it's so hot, I would use uh, a medium hardener or maybe even a, a slow hardener. But uh, on uh, the two to one, it's different. So any guys who, uh, you know, some of the guys that watch our, the videos, the garage gang videos or whatever, you know you want to be sure if you're going to use your two to one or your two to one clear your high solids clear make sure you put accelerator in it uh, always just just make just write it down and make that part of your mix and uh, you know it's better to have it kick than not kick because if, if you don't if you don't get it to kick it'll just end up on the floor if you're not careful so yeah that's my thoughts on that I don't know how correct I am but that's my experience anyway you know that's what I'm dealing with so if it can happen to me it can happen to anybody else I think probably but uh, we're getting close now we still got some spider webs, but we're getting close. Unbelievable the amount of time here. It was about 10 till when I got done with the first coat. And I was thinking, all right, top of the hour, 10 minute flash, that's normally plenty. You know, it's almost as fast as you can uh, get done. Go mix up another batch and uh, start where you started almost without even pausing and uh, here we are 35 minutes after we, we put the last uh, pass on and uh, yeah it's still wet and we're using the fast hardener so I didn't uh, I didn't put accelerator in it and I should have e even though it's hot so lesson learned we shouldn't have any trouble with this well the front bumper it just does not have a ton of runs on it I never looked at it good uh, it's looking pretty good I'm not seeing any oh there's one right there very silky I'm a screwed up deal but it's cool it'll all be cool I promise it should be okay and you know we're probably not gonna have to uh, to do anything we just want to make sure we don't run it the second time for sure okay so the accelerator will help us there it'll uh, keep us keep us to the good I think and I had a bug uh, commit suicide right there and that's just gonna be there there ain't nothing I can do about that so there we go 
we'll see what happens with it and uh, I'll turn the camera back on all right guys it was an hour between hitting it again we let it flash for an entire hour it finally got dry enough for me to hit it again let me get a gulp of air here because it's still a little bit cloudy and I just got done with it and you can see it's already starting to kick uh, you know it hasn't been five minutes So what I think I'm going to do, and we don't have any runs this time, I'll guarantee you that, because it's kicking so fast, but what I'm going to do in the problem areas, let's see if you can pick that up, yeah, see that, that's where we had the runs before and I stuck my fingers in it, I'm going to I'm going to hit that again, I think. Just, in, it'll help it. It'll help it a little bit, and maybe I won't have to sand it. But if I do have to sand it, there'll be plenty of clear there, and we'll just chop it down real fast and in the one area there and, and sand it if we have to. But we may not have to by the time it all flows out. So, now we got a dry spot there taken care of. See the light. It's good. It looks it looks real good guys. It's just uh, it's just I didn't put the stinking accelerator in it because I didn't think I needed it with the temperatures and how hot it is so it just goes to show you you know we're already starting to kick off you know and uh, it hasn't been five, not, not ten minutes for sure. So, check that out, guys. Hell yeah. She's kicked. So, lessons learned. I, I don't know about the rest of everybody else, but I am going to put accelerator in two to one clear hot high, high solids two to one clear I'm putting accelerator in every cup I make and that's just the way it is so <clears throat> that's the second time I got burnt it's what Milo always used to say you do things about twice before you learn that's what he told me once so there you go that's twice on the clear but uh, we saved ourselves here, I think, you know. We'll put the old VW Darren thumbprint into the runs and got them all under control. It stops them. And, uh, you know, you certainly can't tell it by looking through the camera at all the places unless I point them out and get right up to it. But uh, I think I'm going to hit it again. That'll be three coats on those uh, bad areas. And, uh, Basically, I think it's the bottom of that scoop right there. We had a few, uh, and I think uh, both fenders, we had this one here, it was more down low. We had one, I think, in the, uh, in the stripe there. And on the other side, most of them were in the stripe. So I think what I'll do is, and I got enough clear in my gun, I think, just enough to uh, go ahead and clear these panels again uh, the two front fenders and the scoop and uh, yeah I think that'll do it so there we go and uh, sometimes you just have a few problems it's my own stupidity there but I, I just thought that with the heat that I wouldn't have to uh, I wouldn't have to do that and uh, by golly I was wrong and uh, you know it took an hour to flash to put the second coat on it so of course our humidity is high I 
about uh, I've painted in humidity like this before so what is it about 95 percent maybe it's about 76 right now in here but uh, the humidity is just killer so you don't out of there pink I don't need your fur in my paint and uh, well, at least we got it to cool down a little bit. It has been up in, uh, well, we've been having temperatures in the uh, low to mid 90s with uh, this same humidity here. And it's been, uh, our heat index has been like 105 here in central Indiana most of the, most of the week. So I'm not griping about the heat though. But there we go. I think I'm going to hit those one more time since I got the clear in there and uh, hopefully that will help that out, those little rough areas and uh, if we have to hit them with a piece of sandpaper we'll have plenty of clear on there and we'll just give them a little touch up if, if that's needed but um, I'll tell you this two to one high solids clear it flows really nice even with the accelerator in it and uh, a lot of times you can get by with a little boo-boo like that and um, you know we're not uh, we're not Joe perfect here you know we got trash in her paint um, you know and uh, this is a very light colored car so uh, it's hard to see flaws uh, like that even in the bright sunshine so We'll get her out in the sun when she sets up here a little bit, get her, get the masking pulled off of it and uh, see how she looks. And, uh, you know, even with the boo-boos, I don't think, I don't think we're going to have a bad job even if I don't sand them. So we'll see what we got and we'll make the decision. Well, there it is, guys. I don't think the color match was that great, but it's yellow and, uh, I was scared to tin it. So there we have it. Looks good. Other than the the match, but that's the best we can do and it shouldn't be a big deal. So there we go. We got that out of our hair. Now let's uh Go find us uh, something else to do, maybe. Uh huh. Take it easy, guys.